Good morning. <clears throat> Catch my breath. It is Monday, beginning of the week again. Here we go. Monday, November 29th, uh, 5.19 in the morning. Thanks a lot for getting some energy. I'm a, I'm a little half sleepy right now, even though I just finished my mile. Uh, that's all right. Keep at it. Got some heavy hearts this morning, kind of reflecting on the news that I heard yesterday that uh, my cousins, my cousin, basically my sister, my sister's husband died yesterday. He passed away at 10.30 a.m. I got, I got the news here about 6.30 a.m. Um, the next day, obviously, because where I had one day from Hawaii. And yeah, I went completely numb. Called up my family. We kind of had a little grieving session. Trying to figure things out. As we figure out what we can, what we can do on our end for now. And we spent a little time looking at some old pictures of him that I had saved in my Google account. But absolutely tragic. I don't know his exact age. He must have been in his early 40s. Younger than 45, I'm pretty sure. Um, they were married for 12 years. We got married in, is that 12 years? 2010? 2010, 2006, I take that back. They're married for 16 years, 15 years? 15 years, I think they just made 15 years in September. They had three kids. Um, Yeah, he just, kids range from, I think the oldest, I've lost so much track of time of being here and being away from the family. The oldest must be, oh, I wanna say 12, 13, 13, maybe. The youngest is probably four, five, and there's a there's a girl, so two boys and a girl, in between. Sometimes I think about being here in Vietnam and making this my home, which I have no regrets about at all. But yeah, you miss you miss these things. You miss uh, kids growing up. One of my best friends, he's got, he's got uh, two daughters. And one of the daughters I haven't even met yet. I've talked to her through Zoom once or twice, but never picked her up, never carried her. And even with my, my sister's kids, my cousin's kids, never picked, never picked the youngest one up. Oh, did I? Maybe I did. I met, I met them in 2017. I met the youngest one in 2017. So, four, five, six, maybe six. I've lost track of time. But he was a, uh, there's one quality I, I would give to him that I knew would be that he was very mild-tempered didn't say much great father he loved his family and he didn't lead his family with his mouth with his voice 
He led his family through his actions because my, <laughs> my cousin's got the mouth. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I always have a scene of him. Uh, wherever he is, he's, he's at. If you can find one, you'll find a beer sleeve. And uh, he's always holding a beer in his right hand. Just chilling, just cruising. Any gathering we're at, he's always in the background, just doing his thing, being himself. Love, love to be in the woods. Love hunting. He trained his dogs. I remember trying to use a bow and arrow that he uh, he was fixing up, and he, he he told me to to pull it or to draw the bow. I picked it up and I'm pulling and I got nothing and I was a little bigger than he was as far as size but he's got the technique right so he picks it up torques in the right angles of his shoulders and his elbows pull in the right way he's done this thousands of times just like park close it open respect for the skill and my heart goes out to my sister my cousin it, yeah I don't know how you deal with the reality of what just happened this, this is nothing that you plan for and this is especially something you, you don't even want to plan for because the thought of it just scares you. But now to face the reality of that. To lose your life partner. To leave the person who's been by your side every single night. Every single day. Your best friend that you could turn to when times got hard and when the good times were there I don't know how you deal with it and I don't think anybody's words will help mend any of that pain but we prayed for you last night we prayed a lot I prayed a lot the wife and I prayed a lot and it, it's it sucks because I'm, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes and to think about like how I would feel if, if my wife <laughs> suddenly disappeared in my life and I think being married now coming from this side of the coin Man, it's scary. Such a scary thought. And I'm so sorry that you have to go through that right now. I'm so sorry. I wish I could be there to give you a hug, to give your kids a hug, your nephews and nieces. Keep sending prayers your way. We'll keep doing that every day. And I think about my two nephews and my niece, that they just lost their father at such a young age. The eldest son, he doesn't even know how to make his own decisions yet. Still going through the trials and tribulations of puberty a time when you really need your dad but you'll be there for him you're a super mom if there's anybody to get anything done and if 
my brother and I and you were hitting in the dictionary and the word, the definition hustler was there. It is definitely your picture. <laughs> Be your picture there. So keep up the grind, Tony. We love you and thinking about you. Hopefully we get to talk someday, someday soon. But as you grieve now, as you mourn, we mourn with you. Know that you're on our hearts and minds. And we weep with those who are weeping. Thanks guys for checking my channel out. Uh, any comments? <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit somber note today. Uh, but I think it's, it's good for me to kind of go there a little bit by myself in my head. Love you guys. Aloha. See you guys tomorrow. Take care.